What's up guys? It's about five o'clock in the morning. Monday morning, we're here outside Brisbane Airport. About to go back to Alice Springs. What a weekend, what a weekend. I know I haven't checked in with you guys for a while. Um, I spent a lot of yesterday questioning what to do next, what was my next plan, what I could put 100% effort and motivation into. And I still haven't come up with a plan, so um, yeah, more thinking to do, of course. But uh, what an experience! What an amazing experience! I'll um, I'll talk more in depth about uh, about the whole thing and what I thought uh, in another video. But yeah, right now, pretty tired. Didn't get much sleep this weekend at all. Um, yeah, just ready to get back into it, ready to crack back into work, training. I'm gonna train hard as a motherfucker with these extra calories, hopefully make some really good gains um, in the next few months. And uh, yeah, who knows, we might be, might be um, back to do the same show next year, who knows. But for now, I better go and check in um, and get on the plane. So I'll see you in Brisbane. I mean, Sydney. Just sitting here, Sydney Airport, second leg of the trip, just about to get on the plane and board. Um, I've just had, I got a, um, a pass to the Qantas Lounge from a friend of mine <clears throat> as I left Alice Springs. If you're watching Francis, thank you, because the Qantas Lounge is fucking brilliant, bro. I, I've just had the best breakfast of my entire life. And no fucks were given, so absolutely fantastic all for free so um, I'm nice and relaxed and I've probably eaten about 2,000 calories today already um, so as soon as I get back into Alice Springs it's gonna be about lunchtime I head down to the gym and smash out my first workout sorry second workout post comp um, which is gonna to have to be something big at deadlifts or squats because I've eaten a shitload of calories so I've got to put them to use but um yeah this is it back to reality I'll uh I'll check in check back in with you guys when I've got something to say but for now we're over and out I've learned a hell of a lot um very very inspired all I can say is that I probably had at least six to eight weeks more dieting um, to get to the level of conditioning where I could possibly stand next to these guys because it was absolutely insane. Um, you know, bodies covered in veins <laughs> uh, without without a pump, and I had to manipulate my water and carbs and manipulate everything to try and get a good pump and to try and look as lean as possible when these guys were five percent body fat like two to three weeks ago. Um, and they don't have to manipulate anything, so uh, that is definitely the way to go. Um, but I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna pussy out. I mean, heaps of people don't make it to the stage because they're too scared that they're not in condition. I mean, I wasn't at the level I should have been, but I still got on stage, so it's all good. I've uh, I've seen a few videos of people in the crowd that they've taken, so. This point is closed and in the final stage of the point, we go down to number eight. Yeah, better go. 